Highnesses, Excellencies, honoured guests, I'm delighted to welcome you to the 2018 Arab Women of the Year Awards being held in London in partnership with the London Arabia Organisation, Regents University London, Vista Village and the Y Asset Management. Despite many challenges, Arab female entrepreneurs are finding new and creative ways to overcome barriers to entering the workforce and starting their own businesses. These women tonight are the role models for others and generations to come. Tonight, we celebrate achievement and excellence of Arab women. Our awards and winners are amongst the most distinguished in the Arab world. Our Lifetime Achievement Award, Mrs. Suad Al Abdullah. Shukran jazeelan للقائمين على هذا التجمع على دعم هذه الوجوه وهذه العقول المبدعة. Achievement in global leadership in cancer control, Her Royal Highness Princess Dina Mirad. خورة أكثر يعني لما شفت الكم الهائل من السيدات المبدعات اللي أنا عم بتكرموني كجزء منهم. Achievement in media award, بارعة على مدين. I would like to, to give this award to my very dear late mother. Without her, I wouldn't have the drive, the passion to be where I am. It is so important to be here today to openly talk about those Arab women who still break new ground and change communities across the Arab world. Achievement in business, Mrs. Khalida Azban. A special uh, thought about family. Family is very important. About man, husband, he's here, sister. The Achievement and TV Award to Regine Amran. I'm sure that each uh, successful woman tonight, she been uh, through a very difficult journey. I would like to dedicate this award for every person believes in us. Achievement in social development, Dr. Sharifa Al Yahyai. If it was from the word that was said in the right of this recognition, The Achievement in Literature Award, Mrs. Intisar Al Aqil. I give it to the التي كافحت وصمدت Special Recognition Award Miss Desiree Bollier The women we are here to celebrate tonight are a testament that female empowerment should not be a privilege for the few but a right for everyone We only have a future if we invest in it This means investing in people It means passing on everything we know to the next generation. Achievement of Health Awareness Award, Dr. Naima Al Qasir. This is for my family and for my late father, who actually did not discriminate between me as his eldest daughter and his son. Our achievement in sport winner, Miss Sarah Aysal. I'm so honored to be here, and I'm very happy for the amount of appreciation this event shows to Arab women all around the world. The Youth Achievement Award, Miss Bana Al Abid. I'm so glad to have this award. I would like to thank the London Arabia for giving me this award. This award is for all children who are suffering in wars. We must fight for them. I feel young girls in the Arab world should be encouraged more to engage with the world around them. And I would like to send them a message this evening to tell them. Look at the women here tonight. See what they have done and know that you can do the same. I would like to thank every incredible woman in this room. You are a true inspiration to all of us. Thank you. <laughs>